Pisces, welcome to your mid-November tune-up. I'm like pausing for some reason in these videos. Um, anyways, if it resonates, it's a general reading, so if it resonates, consider a personal reading. My email is below. Just send me an email. We can go ahead and set that up. So let's get to it. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please divide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Pisces for November, the middle of November 2019? What do you see? What do you need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe, and closer to divine? Any messages you have would be greatly appreciated for Pisces for their greater good. What do you see? What do they need to know? What you got? Can you please show me what their general energies are for the middle of November? General energies is the King of Cups in reverse. Can you please show me what the challenge is for them in mid-November? The Knight of Swords in reverse. Oh, who's this person you're dealing with? Oh, sweet Jesus. Um, sweet Jesus. Advice for Pisces? Popped out two cards. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, please, please. My heart can't take anymore. I was thinking right before this, too. I'm like, please let Pisces have a good reading. Please let them have a good reading. Because, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm sure a lot of you out there seriously kick ass. But the one thing that I that tears my heart about, about Pisces is... And again, this is a general statement, so please don't go in the comments and be like, that's not me. I'm not someone I will snap on someone if they come at me. Okay, <laughs> this is just a general statement, okay, that I have found, especially like Pisces moon, especially, but sun too. You guys are like sitting ducks for emotional vampires. <laughs> You're sitting ducks for people to just run all over you and like, do whatever they want in terms of emotions. And you know why? Because you're so loving and you're caring and you're kind and you're nurturing and sensitive and all this other good stuff. So, I mean, it's like you send a beacon out for jerks. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm being serious. Okay, and I said, not all Pisces. I know I'm making a general statement, but I'm just saying it's a, it's something I've noticed and it pisses me off and it makes me want to kick the other person's ass. Um, I think I had too much green tea, I'm just saying. How you all be moving forward from November, mid-November, and or from this reading, we had the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This is a shit reading, so if you want to click off, click off at this point. If you're a cross watcher and you hate the person <laughs> that you're looking at, cross watchers are probably going to love this reading. Um, let me just throw it out there right now. If you need a personal reading, my email is below. I think I already said that. My 2020 sun moon readings are going up. Make sure you put your requests in for that in the comments. While you're waiting for that, check out my 2019 sun moon readings in my playlist. I'm on the Instant Go app if you need an answer to a question in 24 hours. Um, I'm on there. I'm also on Facebook and Insta. Like, share, subscribe. And then finally, uh, I have a donation link below for those of you who have Venmo if you want to toss me a few pennies and literally it can be pennies okay um oh my alrighty general energies let's just get right into it guys who knows what the clarifiers are gonna pull right okay you have this person who is possibly a drunk <laughs> possibly really good at blaming other people well first of all when it comes to their emotions they don't they will use their emotions any way possible to manipulate a situation to blow up they'll blame other people they get moody um like i said they might have a little too much drinky drinky that kind of adds to the problem super codependent tendencies um they're a mess this person's a mess beyond a mess and if it's not them being a mess then you're the mess but either way, someone's being a mess, okay? So the challenge is, and I don't feel like it's you guys. I feel like you just, there's a jerk, there is a dick that has come into your life in mid-November. We have the Knight of Swords in the challenge position in reverse. So this can go one of two ways. Either this person is going around talking mad shit about you, okay, that is not nice. So they're not only, you know, using their emotions to manipulate a situation they're actually talking behind your back and trying to manipulate be manipulative okay spreading all this crap about you um talking unfairly about you 
slanderous, libel. What? That, never the difference between slander and libel. I could never get that, even though I took like a class and yeah, well, I don't know the difference between slander and libel, libel but something like that. Um, and they really like attention. Okay, now that's the one way this, this can go. The other way this can go is the challenge is that you are afraid of saying anything, expressing an opinion, expressing a view, um, because you're concerned about this person just blowing up. So it's an either or. Either way, it doesn't go well. <sighs> the advice column. The advice is saying to you that you will never get along with this person in any scope of the imagination um, and to realize that. And the advice is to realize this person is a super duper duper narcissist. They're not just a narcissist, they're all about them and their ego. Everything about this person is about them. And they don't care who they run over. Um, they, they have a huge ego. They're super selfish, okay? Um, and, and they're kind of saying to you, see this person for who they are because I'm getting this feeling for you guys that you are giving this person the benefit of the doubt and you should not, they don't even deserve the benefit of the doubt, okay, for whoever this resonates for. And if you continue to do so as you move out of November, the, the, the middle of November and going to the end of November into December, things are gonna get really crappy for you because we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Things are going to get a hell of a lot worse. You're not gonna be able to do anything about it because this person has totally like taken over your life at this point. Um, so I would be careful, okay? If you can cut this person, cut this person. I don't like anything about them. I'm getting mad. Who are they? Who's asking I have to kick Pisces? Cause I will if I have to. Send them my way. Have them comment on this video and I'll light them up in the in the uh, comments. Why is the King of Cups here reversed for Pisces? General energies for mid November. Who is this person? What is this energy? Whoa. Okay, control freak person. This person likes to control a situation. They don't want anything to go your way. As a matter of fact, every time, and not only that, you're just like, it could be a cancer. Let me just point that out. But you try to have things go your way and they're like no we're gonna do it this way sorry and and they really like you can't accomplish anything because they take away all of your personal control and they they do whatever they can to get things to go their way everything you try to accomplish everything you try to complete and what's even irritating is you'll get right to the end of something so you'll be like oh this looks like it's really going my way or whatever and they come in like right at the last minute and prevent you from getting closure on something or ending something or um, what have you. Now I will say with the world card in reverse, some of you are just kind of like not, don't wanna confront, don't wanna deal with what's going on with this person. So you just like the easiest thing to do is just lie there and take it. Not good, okay? Not good, don't do that. Um, I see a lot of conflict with this person. You aren't the only person that doesn't get along with this person. In general, they don't get along with people. Every time they walk into a room, it, they start arguments. People go up against them, and they're right in there. They don't care. They'll, they'll get right in it, and they'll sit there and argue. They'll, they'll fight for their opinion. They get fiery. They get crazy. They don't care. They'll get in the ring, and they'll fight with somebody if they have to. But they, they cause conflict whoever this person is. They cause conflict with you and they cause conflict wherever they go. It's just it's just how they roll. Why is this Knight of Swords here in reverse? Who is this person? What is this energy for Pisces challenge? Why is the Knight of Swords here in reverse? Who is this person? What is this energy? This person could be affecting your family. This person could be could be affecting money in your family. This person could be causing arguments in your family. Um, a commitment they could be causing um, some type of rift. They could be causing um, something not happening long term. They could be causing um, a, 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 like a commitment between two people and they're kind of coming in, trying to ruin that, whoever this person is. Oh Lord, we have the Three of Cups, in, which, which leads me to believe with that Three of Cups in reverse, they're trying to change the dynamic of something either they're trying to change like a group, a, a friendship. They're trying to change um, a dynamic of a couple, um, whatever it is. And they're, they're trying to block things. They don't want things going um, 
they they don't want things going I was going to say well but that just seemed like a blah, like a blah term but um, they're, they're trying to shake things up they do whatever they can to shake things up and they're really adamant about it so they are a force I mean if, if not only they like to get into things and poke the bear and and will, like mix things up with people get in the mix with people but here they are standing on their mountain being like no this is what I say and this is how it goes and there's people opposing them like this guy see these sticks people are like trying to kind of knock him off of his mountain he's like no I'm not going anywhere this is how it's gonna be and he's actually fighting them off so I mean this person is a huge challenge it's not somebody like you can just send on on their way there they are a force okay why is this two of cups here in the upright who is this person I mean in the reverse who is this person was this energy and I'm strongly getting from um, in the advice position of these two cards, you need to recognize what this person's about. You can't make them better. You can't um, take a pacifistic approach with them. Um, you just can't. To me, it's like a terrorist and a pacifist. And we know how that kind of turns out. So pacifists usually doesn't end up winning. Why is the Two of Cups here? You can't be Gandhi going up against Hitler. Just saying. Hermit card in reverse. All right. They're telling you to just psh, cut yourself off entirely from this person, like go into withdrawal, disappearing, ghost, go away. Um, yeah, they're telling you, run for the hills. And this person, because of how they are, they're preventing things from happening in your life. So they're stunting your growth. They're stopping things happening for you, okay? Um, and you can't trust them either with the two of wands in reverse. You can't trust them at all. You can't count on them. You definitely can't trust them. And you can't trust them because they have a selfish agenda. So, I mean, obviously they're looking out for themselves and themselves only. So why would you trust someone like that? Um, why is the Wheel of Fortune here in reverse for Pisces as they move out of the middle of November into... So see them for who they are and take action. That's really what I think the advice is here. See them for the evil, bitter, heartless soul they are <laughs> and, and take action. Either fight or flight, you're going to have to do one or the other. Why is the, and by flight, that means isolate yourself. You guys are water signs, so there you go. Withdraw, you know, dig a hole, disappear. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here in reverse for Pisces? They move on from this reading as they move out of mid-November who yeah because this person is look at them they're tricking they're manipulating they're cheating oh I hate them who are they I hate them um yeah they're not whatever they're showing you is not the truth they're not truthful whatever they're showing you is not who they are um anytime anytime that the magician shows up reverse some of them could be doing black magic they could be using magic against you. Um, I'm not really, like, I don't really don't, I know it's terrible to say, watch, someone's going to throw a curse on me or something. I don't really believe so much in black magic. I mean, I don't, like, I'll get people that are writing to me like, oh, do I have, like, black magic against me? I'm like, uh, you know, that stuff's nonsense to me. I don't, I don't get the whole black magic thing. But anyway, so they could be. They could be trying to use black magic spells or things like that, um, you know, because they're, they're just, like, evil. Um cut them off I see you it might be because of this reading so we have with the um, eight of wands in reverse communication being cut off I gotta pull one more on this because I'm like I <sighs> oh yeah okay so I see communication being cut off I'm, I'm guessing, and maybe, I don't think they cut it off from you. They might, oh, okay. Um, yes, it could be them cutting off the communication to kind of like mind fuck you a little bit. Sorry, my uh, language there, but to mind fuck you, they're like, oh, okay, they block you. They stop talking to you. And I feel like that's a manipulation tactic of some sort to kind of like screw your life up even more. Nine of Pentacles here, you might have some kind of dependence on them financially. Um, so they kind of like are trying to screw you there in that regard. They might be neglecting you. Um, 
I feel like they're trying to really like work you over in the um, manipulation department. That's what I'm kind of getting. Um, and here you are building up your defenses because this person attacks you and attacks you and attacks you and you're starting to feel really defensive. And not only that, they like push in on your boundaries. So, you know, you'll be hanging and they'll just like come like pushing in on your like, just walk right into your house and you're like, whoa, what's up? You know, like, like you can't build a wall thick enough to kind of keep them out. And, you know, I feel like that's what the deal is. And here you are like super duper paranoid and trying to build your fort and they don't care. They just, they do what they want. They do what they want. Um, all right. So be cautious of this person. If this resonates for you again, it's either fight or flight. It, not doing anything and giving them the benefit of the doubt is no longer an option from what I'm seeing. And if you're doing that, you need to cut that out. Alrighty, because they don't deserve it and they're just gonna they are gonna bleed you dry. They're gonna bleed your energy cup dry. So if this resonates, consider personal reading. It might be something I can help work you through. Um, put up your request for your 2020 Sun Moon readings, check out your 2019 Sun Moon readings in my playlist. Check me out on the Instant Go app, on Facebook, on Insta. Like, share, subscribe, or and or uh, donate in the Venmo link below. Otherwise, adios from Veronica Garnett, and I really, really mean good luck in mid-November. Bye, Pisces.